Hey, it's Ron. Uh, got my new Acer C7 Chromebook. It's uh, running Google Chrome OS, of course. Get this uh, tape out. Ah, cardboard. Got some of the uh, touchpad. How to use. More booklets, different languages, the magic, this is the, uh, like I said, the Acer model, um, the reason I got the Acer model is mainly because of the hard drive and, well, the processor, even though it's a Celeron, it's an Intel based where the, uh, the Samsung ones are not Intel based, so basically, a lot of the like flash player and things like that have trouble running. And there's the Chrome. Go over the overview. I'm sure you've seen this before, but got the microphone, two USB 2.0s, the AC jack, Kensington lock, and the battery compartment. On the other side, we have the RJ45 or Ethernet. Uh, the VGA port 15 pin and we have a nice HDMI port and we also have a third USB 2.0 port which the other Chromebooks that I've seen have two ports so yay that let's see what we got, uh, more stuff no oh, of course they put a nice microfiber pad for cleaning it and not and then it's got the same type of charger as the Iconia or Iconia tab. It's got the, the swivel attachment for. It just kind of makes it easier, so I don't have to make multiple adapters. I can just make one with just a different end. This one just snaps in. You can do it at uh, different angles. You can have it plug into the wall like this, or if you want it sideways, either way, whatever works for you. Alrighty. And then the uh, the only disappointing thing I've seen and read on this is the battery. You can see there, 2,500 milliamps. <laughs> the phone that I'm shooting this with is the Galaxy Note 2. It has a 3,100. So I mean, you can tell the difference there. Uh, let me get the battery and close this boy up. Set it down real quick. Let's see. They got a nice little. They've got a nice little uh, foam insert over the keyboard. I guess protection and whatnot. And they do have uh, the nice integrated keys they have the search function uh, which is four chromes they also have the caps lock uh, which I've seen is not on a lot of them the uh, touchpad feels decent I haven't used it yet of course because then you got your your back button your refresh your forward um, full screen button brightness multiple volume and pretty much a standard uh, keyboard I'll be right back Alrighty, let's see if we can open her up here. From what I've seen, they come on whenever you open it. Yep, that just came on. Let's see if we can ignore the light there. Wow. Alright, that was extremely fast time. Um, See, select the network. You can see I've got I've got a dual band router, so simultaneous dual band. So shows them both at the same time. Hopefully, I typed in the right key. I don't know. I'm getting mixed up. I'll be back. I'm gonna turn this flash off. All right, 
We're back. Sorry, I had to turn the flash off that daggum thing with the hose and whatnot. Yeah, I don't really want to make it better. If it's not good now, nah, I'm just messing with you. It's Chrome automatically updates. It's checking for updates as we speak, of course. System update available. It's downloading. Well, I'll be right back after this downloads. I want to wait here the whole time. Hey, it's Ron. Uh, just coming back. Got my uh, Acer Chromebook all set up. It's been a few days now um, since uh, the first part of the video was shot. Um, basically, the let's see if I can open it up here. You can see it already comes on the light. As soon as you open it. Yep, let me put you away from the keyboard here. It's a uh, stock background uh, for the Google Chrome. It's a beautiful screen. It's like the, the HD quality is. It's an LED screen. It's the same screen over here. Same. Let's see if we can clear it up some. Anyways, um, I did find out um, on the Chromebook. Yeah, down here, if you can see, let me see if I can turn this down. There we go. I'm going to turn it down some so you can see it. The uh, blue folder there, that's the file folder. That's basically where you access your Google Drive or the, uh, the hard drive that's actually built into the system. Yeah. The way it works is the downloads folder here is the actual 320 gigabyte hard drive and then the Google Drive is as it says the Google Drive. Um, what I have done is I've just made folders in here. I've got videos, music videos and pictures uh, and that's exactly what they are music videos and pictures and then um, like I said that accesses that uh, one thing I do wish is they would come up with either a way to put things on the desktop or widgets, you know, like the Android OS. You can put widgets for the weather or basically anything. Uh, I would like to have some icons on the desktop, but like everything is down here in the bottom, the little all apps if you've used any Android OS before. You've seen the little Rubik's Cube type deal. It's, uh, got the Facebook, got camera. The camera is just the front facing camera there. The Hey, say hello. And then, uh, this is and surprisingly a fast little machine. Of course, I mean it's not doing much take a look at the Chrome store and the way that they've designed the touchpad basically do the two fingers and you slide down what that does is that'll do this motion here where it's scrolling down the page like it would on your Android or iOS device and then same thing for the scrolling up you just do your two fingers and scroll up the touchpad um, they do have some, you know, different games and such. So we've got it comes stock with Bejeweled. 
because that was a kind of a weird game to have stock on there. Yeah, the let's see the audio and the I'm kind of playing this through the camera, so it's a little bit difficult. It's hard to play this with the touchpad, basically because I'm not used to it. I'm sure if you get used to it, you'll fly through without a problem. Combo! Yeah, I did find the touch the touchpad is a little stiff, so I mean that's why, like as you see, I'm clicking and then dragging over and clicking. We yeah, the let's see those are all down there, and of course YouTube is stock. Let's see what we got. Let's do some uh, Chris Calico. And this is running on my uh, DSL six meg a second deal. So let's do it at seven twenty. See how it loads. And this is from YouTube. One thing I did find kind of strange on here, um, if you're used to Windows or a Mac OS PC, um, you're used to up there at the top, you have the little minimize button. This doesn't. It just has a restore or close. Whenever you go to connect to your Wi-Fi, like well, whenever you first get it, it'll have you automatically connect. But down here at the bottom, you see this little user icon, the battery, and the Wi-Fi. You just single tap that and that'll bring up this. You've got your uh, connect to Wi-Fi. Like I'm connected to Alabaster N, which is my the 5 gigahertz wireless in. Um, but if you go to the settings here, what that does is open up Google Chrome settings, uh, which has a lot of similar settings as Google Chrome browser does um, but then of course there's down at the very bottom re chrome device to its original factory state like that's how you reload the chrome if you ever feel like it for some reason um, it's really about it um, as far as the it's Now that's in sleep mode. Turns to orange, starts flashing, and then instantly back. Now I've got it just to every time I open it, I have to sign in, so I don't want someone else getting on my account. But what is really nice if you have somebody that wants to say get on your laptop, there is down at the bottom. Whenever you have your little icon, there is a browse as guest which they can just browse the web they can't really do um, like I said if you do the double tap 
right click and you'll have where it says set wallpaper I believe they have 50 stock uh, 50 stock wallpapers and they've got them kind of categorized you got urban landscape natural colors and then custom and uh... well that's really about it I've had this for roughly a week and um, as of right now I'm loving it um, I haven't really hooked up to the big screen yet but I'm sure that day will come